Welcome to the new video guys, this is a full guide on how to play Roblox coming from a certified Roblox guy. Even if you played the game for 5 years or just started, I guarantee you will learn something from this video. Anyways, let's get right into the video guys. Alright, now that we've clicked on a game, click on the green play button and let's get right into it. First, let's move on to some basic controls. So on your mouse, if you want to move your screen just like this, you want to hold right click and just move your mouse however you want. If you do this, your mouse cursor will stay in the same position, but your camera position will move. To change your perspective, there are two ways of doing it. You can use your scroll wheel, or you can use the keyboard buttons I and O. Just like that, it zooms in and zooms out on my camera. Now let's move on to moving your character. Just like 90% of the games out there, you can use WASD to move your character. If for some what reason you don't want to do that, you can also use your arrow keys to control but you can't do A and D what you would normally do on WASD. It just moves your camera and it's pretty fast and hard to control. For jumping, you can simply click the spacebar. Now let's move on to the escape menu. To do that, click escape on your keyboard and it will show you this menu. Here is the list of the people inside of your server. So if we move out of this and click tab, we can actually see the list of people inside of the tab menu. If you want to hide this, just click tab again and it will just hide. Settings, over here there are a lot of stuff to cover. Alright, shift lock switch, if you turn this on and click shift on your keyboard, you wouldn't have to hold right click on your mouse to move your camera. Click to move is pretty interesting, if you go on your map right here and you click somewhere like there, it will automatically move to that place just like that. That, 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 it will just move to there without me touching the keyboard. Camera sensitivity, it's basically your DPI on your mouse. It's how fast your camera will move when you move your mouse and you hold right click. Volume, you can set this to whatever you want, max or minimum. And the audio from here will go to whatever output device you select it to. Full screen, this is basically F11, you can just toggle it here. Graphics mode, automatic or manual. I say manual bar 1 is better than automatic bar none because I don't know, that's just my experience. I've always had more FPS when I just had one bar set on manual. And for this bar over here, you'll see this, I have an extension that extends my graphics to its max, so yeah, you'll probably only see to like here or here. If you know your PC can handle maximum graphics, make sure to check out my other tutorial video which will be linked in my description or on your top right corner. And once you turn that on, everything will basically look like max graphics, what you'll see. Your FPS will also be significantly affected by this, so make sure you know your PC is capable of 20 bar graphics. Speaking of FPS, you can download an extension to check your FPS inside of the game or you can hold shift and F5 to see on the top left corner your FPS. As you can see, I'm getting around 500 to 600 FPS and Roblox will cap your original FPS to 60. So once you join the game with no extensions, it'll be capped at 60. To uncap it and get more FPS like me, make sure to watch the tutorial linked in the description. Record, you can record your screen or take a screenshot. I personally would recommend you to download OBS if you would want to record a video for YouTube, let's say for example. But I'd say screenshot is pretty useful because it's really quick and it's inside the game. It stores it into a certain folder in your file explorer, so yeah. Alright, lastly to chat, you can click on this button or click the forward slash button and type whatever you want and click enter or the send button. To hide the chat, just click this again slash won't work so just click this now if you click the weird right arrow key on your keyboard it will open up your emo wheel over here you can do whatever emo you want and it will perform the emo and that's it from me if you want to learn how to stop lagging on roblox or get more fps make sure to check the videos on screen like this video and subscribe to the channel goodbye guys